Yo, what is going on everybody? It is your boy Dina Hype coming back to you guys with a brand new video and I hope you guys are having a great day so far. In today's video, what you guys are gonna be seeing is we're gonna be covering everything that we could possibly know about Call of Duty Modern Warfare 4 with a couple of leaked articles that we've been popping up here over the past couple of days. Now I have four articles I'm gonna be covering for you guys, so hopefully you guys stick around to listen to everything I have to say. But the first article that I'm going to be going into covers a gaming insider that is dropping major hints on the potential Modern Warfare 4 reveal date. Now the second article that I'm going to be covering has to do with an Infinity Ward developer, somebody who actually works at Infinity Ward, responding to the impatient fans that have been waiting for Modern Warfare 4 to be revealed. Now the third article that has to go in depth with a YouTuber known as Syndicate that is hinting at a Modern Warfare 4 release date after he was secretly heading out to LA on a trip to Infinity Ward. Now the fourth article has to do with some recent information that I'm sure everybody already kind of knows about this by now, but Activision has been reportedly considering free to play revenue model for Modern Warfare 4. Now that could have to do with multiplayer, campaign, zombies, battle royale, it all kind of depends on what they're deciding to do with that. But other than that, we're going to go ahead and get straight into this. I'm going to stop rambling. I'm going to get straight into the information. So hopefully you guys go on to enjoy this video. Remember, if you guys do go on to enjoy, do not forget to drop a like. It's always much appreciated if you do so. And also, if you guys are brand new to the channel, what are you guys waiting for? If you guys head down and you see that little subscribe button, make sure it turns into subscribed where it says, you know, subscribed with that notification bell on so you guys never miss a single video here on the channel. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get straight into it. Now we're going to go ahead and start off with the first article which has to do with Activision reportedly considering free to play revenue models for Modern Warfare 4. Now if you guys are curious about reading all these articles along with me, you guys can head down into the description down where it says info. If you guys want to read all the articles, you guys can click through them and find the articles down there. But starting off here, it says here, Activision could be looking into implementing a major change for its future Call of Duty titles, starting with a possible free-to-play revenue model for Modern Warfare 4. Now, the next installment released for the Legendary Modern Warfare series has basically been a poorly kept secret in the game's industry, but a surprising development suggests that it could take a vastly differently or different revenue model from titles past. Now, a Katuka or Kataku report on the internal workings at Activision has revealed that a free-to-play model of some kind of, of some kind might be adopted by the publisher. Now, as early discussions about the release of starting to take place. Now, the report suggests that while Black Ops 4 sold well during its initial launch window, follow-up sources of revenue for that title weren't exactly what the publisher was hoping for. Not looking to repeat that trend, Activision could pull the trigger and changing how the next game brings in cash during its life cycle. Now, Activision ex executives have stated to talk about embracing free-to-play as a revenue model once Anthemia to the publisher and three sources say are looking into offering a free-to-play component for this year's new Modern Warfare. Although the specifics may not be finalized just yet, the report has said. Now, furthermore, it seems like there are inside Activision who remain resistant to using any kind of free-to-play model for Call of Duty, according to Katuka's resources. Now, the question here asks, how would free-to-play work in Call of Duty? This could vastly change how Call of Duty players interact with the 2019 title, as it would see a model more closely tied with other popular titles like Fortnite Battle Royale and Apex Legends. Now, while those games are completely free to play, if Activision decide to go that route, it doesn't mean that the next Modern Warfare 4 will be identical in design based on those models. Call of Duty games are known for giving players multiple ways of dividing into the battlefields, be it through a story mode, a multiplayer, zombies, and since Black, Black Ops 4, a battle rail. Now, depending on what Infinity Ward has in store for Modern Warfare 4, any one of those modes could follow a free to play model while the rest of the title is offering retail at a normal price. Alternatively, the publisher could be considering making DLC content free, potentially scrapping the Season Pass or Black Ops Pass, which caused so much controversy leading up to Black Ops 4 release. Now, that is going to do it for that article, so things that we can point out here, like they said, Battle Royale has been that type of game mode here over the past couple of year or past year or two that Fortnite started off with free to play on their battle royale. They blew up Apex Legends. They're saying that it's still doing popular, 
but in my opinion it's not really that exciting right now i feel like apex is just kind of dying at this point now the way that it's kind of moving with the whole battle royale scene and them actually possibly making a black ops pass or the battle pass or the season pass whatever you want to call it if they were to make that completely free and make it to where you can get dlc content for completely free in a way it's almost like why would you even pre-order the game anymore you might as well just wait till the game comes out so it's one of those things that activision is going to have to think about but moving on here if you guys want to click on that second article it'll be the one with youtuber syndicate hints at modern warfare 4 reveal date after the secret la trip now it does say here popular british youtuber from or from england youtuber tom syndicate Cassell has hinted that we could be only a week or two from the next call of duty reveal after eagle-eyed reddit users matched a building in his latest vlog to the headquarters of infinity ward now it says here syndicate was in los angeles to engage in a number of secret meetings in a vlog entitled the mission was impossible uploaded on may 17 syndicate discusses the meetings he has just attended at an unknown location in burbank los angeles now the secret meetings were secret he teases i can't believe i've just gotten to or i've just gone to be able to do something but now i'm not allowed to talk about it until the 30th sad face i feel like i've got willy wonka's golden ticket and i'm not allowed to tell anyone about it now if you guys want to actually see that video there is a timestamp and the actual video link within the description or within the article so if you guys want to watch the video for yourself you guys can do so but it says here call to the youtubers that were invited to los angeles there has been speculation surrounding the latest Call of Duty game for a few months now, with all signs pointing towards Modern Warfare 4. Speculation has now grown even more after a number of popular Call of Duty YouTubers were invited to Los Angeles for a series of secret meetings, which Reddit users have confirmed took place at Infinity Ward offices. Now, as Syndicate vlogs in the back of a car after the meetings, a bright building with reflective blue windows is visible which reddit users have matched up to the images of fitted worth office in burbank now the detective work of reddit users didn't go unnoticed as senior game designer at infinity ward steve holmes joked that you guys cracked me up he did not confirm or deny whether the youtubers meetings took place at infinity ward now the question here asks when will the next cod game be revealed as you guys know we've been talking about this for so so many weeks and it says here also the fact that Syndicate has revealed that he is allowed to talk about the meetings on the 30th suggests that we will be getting a community reveal date around then, which is less than two weeks away at the time of writing. Now, Black Ops 4 was announced on March 18th or March 8th of 2018, so we are already a couple months later in the previous game cycles with a no announcement. Now, however, Black Ops 4 was released in October, a month prior to Call of Duty traditional November release. This has led to many community members by believing that the next Call of Duty game, whatever it is, will be released in November or later, given the delay in announcing the game. Now, developers Infinity Ward have seen the two latest games, 2013's Ghost and 2016's Infinity War, or Infinite Warfare, receive community criticism, and it is widely believed that their, this next game will turn back the clock and see fourth installment in the acclaimed Modern Warfare series. Now, if you guys do not know about the history of Call of Duty, basically the, what has been going on here is Infinity Ward hasn't had a good run with their Call of Duties. Neither has Sledgehammer. They've had some bad runs here in the past couple of years. Like they said, Ghost, it wasn't terrible, but if you had to rate on a scale of 1 out of 10, I'd give it like a 3. It just wasn't up there with the rest of these Call of Duties. And then with Infinite Warfare, come on. It was Infinite Warfare. It was terrible. It was doo-doo. And then whenever you look at Sledgehammer games, now, Advanced Warfare wasn't that bad. It kind of had that startup with the whole advanced movement. And then whenever you look at the game World War II, nobody played it. I mean, you could also put in the speculation of Fortnite was popping at the point. Nobody really wanted to play Call of Duty. But still, come on. Now, whenever you look at Treyarch's run, Black Ops 3, Black Ops 4, everybody plays those games. So, it's kind of a theme going on right now that Infinity War, they need to make something happen. Because as you guys know, Sledgehammer is bus already gotten their game ripped away from them and Treyarch is taking over so if Treyarch makes this game or pulls through and makes black ops 5 very good even though they have to also work on black ops 4 and if any war can pull out a good game here this year we might be taking away sledgehammer and going back to the traditional Treyarch and infinity war rotation now moving on to the third article 
It says here, Infinity Ward developers response to impatient fans awaiting for Modern Warfare 4 reveal. Now, since you're unlike previous years, the next Call of Duty game has not been revealed in the late April or early May, leaving some fans in prick or impatient for that rumored Modern Warfare 4. But Infinity Ward's narrative director has chimed in on the rampant speculation. Now, it says here there hasn't been an installment in the Modern Warfare series of the COD franchises since 2011. However, all signs have been pointing to that the fact that changing with whatever title is released in the 2019's Call of Duty game. Now, fans are eager to find out whatever information possible essentially as the point in which the game is traditionally announced has come and gone, and there has been no confirmation as to when is set to be announced. Yet, the wait for a teaser is finally to be revealed may just be going on for a little bit longer, with Infinity Wars themselves starting to chime in on the Adurus wait. Now, Taylor Kuroski, or Oski, I guess, sorry if I mispronounced your name, the studio narrative director at Infinity Ward responded to a fan who pleaded with them to reveal the teaser for the game sooner rather than later. Take a deep breath, be patient, responded Kuroski on May 12th. Now, Kuroski followed up by saying great things come to those who wait, clearly confident about what they are working on. Another example of people related to Call of Duty finally making comments about the next game. Now, it says here the studio narrative director also seemed to advocate another user, Chris Axerson, senior game advisor at EB Games, in, the, in their plea for patience to explain that fans shouldn't get caught in what, they, what news they might be real and what might be false. Now, it says here while that wait or while the wait for confirmation about the next game will finally be over come June 30th, at the very latest that hasn't, fa that hasn't stopped fans from clinging on to every word or possible tease about seeing something from the news title before then. Now, popular YouTuber Tom Syndicate Castle has recently hinted at a possible reveal date, as we just said. But moving on here, it says here, while it hasn't been confirmed that Syndicate was playing Modern Warfare 4, it has been confirmed that Activision and Sony, the two parties who would be likely to reveal the next game, won't be attending E3 on June 11th through the 14th with any sort of big show. Now, as you guys know, I've already covered that information as well with the whole talk with Infinity War not or anything with Infinity War or Call of Duty or Activision or Sony. None of them are going to be at E3. So it's one of those things where what is kind of going on at this point. But moving on here, we're going to head on to the last article of this video. Now, it says here Gaming Insider drops major hint on potential Modern Warfare 4 reveal date. Now, moving on here, it says fans of Call of Duty have eagerly waiting for news about Modern Warfare 4 and it looks like a reveal could be coming soon. While the 2019 installment of the Call of Duty series has not been confirmed yet, the multitude of leaks and rumors have surfaced over the past few months strongly suggest that it will be Modern Warfare 4. Still with the end of May approaching, fans have been getting restless about the lack of any formal announcement or reveal about the next game. With several promotions or prominent COD YouTubers have been, or having been invited to Activision Studios in Los Angeles, Many expected through the reveal to have taken place on Thursday, May 16th, but instead were given an in-depth look at the upcoming Call of Duty mobile game. Now, however, a gaming industry insider appears to have revealed that the game could be officially announced and revealed as early as shortly after next week. Now, moving on here, it says in a screenshot above, insider Shinobi602 can be seen saying the, that the press is expected to get a look at the game next week, which would be on the week of May 20th. The actual reveal of the game to the public should come in the near future, according to the Insider, which could end up taking place by the end of May. While there's always that chance of the Insider's information could end up being inaccurate, but his reports seem to make sense considering that no COD game has ever been first revealed later than May. Shinobi does have some credibility to his name, having been in, in, in the industry Insider for several years, and has amazed numerous relationships with developers back when NeoGAF was popular. Now, 2019, what we know so far, there are a lot of signs pointing to the reveal of Modern Warfare 4. The most recent one, being the supposed trip to Call of Duty YouTubers, took Activision to preview the new game. Now, Tom Syndicate Castle took a trip to California, like we just said, and everybody thought that he was at Infinity Awards or Activision Studios, and it's actually not been confirmed to be the Modern Warfare 4, but this has all signs pointing to about Call of Duty 2019. 
Now, an ex-Infinity War developer seemingly confirmed it was going to be a Modern Warfare title by telling a Twitter user to buy brown pants after the Reddit user said he might shit himself if the next game was Modern Warfare 4. Now, with all these rumors out there, it would be surprising to not hear anything soon. Now, in the meantime, all we can do is just wait for the inventable announcement of what the future of Call of Duty looks like. Now, other than that, that's all of the articles that I have for you guys. Now, you guys can let me know in the comments what you guys think about all this information. Let me know if you guys think this is exciting, if it's pretty interesting, if you guys think that this is all BS. Do you guys think these are all just basically rumors at this point and none of this is actually going to come true? In my opinion, I honestly don't really care what happens at this point. It's We're kind of at the point where they're taking too long to put out a Call of Duty. If the Call of Duty is already done, why isn't the game out? If they're at this point where, as you guys know, with Sledgehammer and they have to have their whole entire game put on hold... If their game isn't even somewhat done, what are they doing? Well, like, why would Activision take away Sledgehammer's games and not help out Infinity War? They're basically saying, hey, Treyarch, stop working on your game. You guys go and help take over for next year's COD, and Sledgehammer will do that or help you out if you need it. Why wouldn't they say, okay, Sledgehammer, don't help out Treyarch. Don't even worry about next year's COD. Worry about getting this year's COD or let Treyarch focus on this year's COD. And let Sledgehammer help out Infinity Ward with their Call of Duty if they need any help. I don't really know, man. You guys really know in the comments what you guys think about all this stuff going on. I think it's just crazy at with the state of Call of Duty that we're at. So like I said, let me know in the comments what you guys think. If you guys went on to enjoy this video, do not forget to drop a like. It's always much appreciated if you do so. Remember, if you guys are brand new to the channel, we're almost a 200 subscri subscribers. So if you guys are brand new around here, couple of things you guys could stick around and watch. If you guys are a fan of Call of Duty in general, whether it be Black Ops 4 or any future Call of Duty, so if you guys want to stay up to date with information or news, gameplay, and with any new DLC weapons with Black Ops 4 or any future Call of Duties, or if you guys are a fan of Grand Theft Auto 6 information with the Grand Theft Auto 6 coming out here soon within the next year or two, if you guys want to stay up to date, you guys can subscribe. If you guys are a fan of the PlayStation 5 console, if you guys want to stay up to date with that, you guys can subscribe. So if you guys are a fan of any of that type of stuff, all you guys got to do is hit that subscribe button, turn the notification bell on, you guys will never miss a single thing. But if you guys want to follow me on any of my social medias, links to all my social medias are down in the description. And also my sponsors are all down there in the description as well. So if you guys want to check out my sponsors and help me out, you guys can click those links down there and use the codes to get you some discounts at any of the websites. And also if you guys want to click that link down there where it says merchandise, you guys can get yourself some The Hype Nation merch. So if you guys want to get yourself some The Hype Nation merch and rep the brand, Feel free to do so. But without further guys, it's been your boy Dean Hype. I'll catch you guys next one. Have a great day. Peace.